Hello, are you a sweet corn farmer? Uh, do you see this kind of stuff on your leaves in your field? Uh, these brown lesions, you can't explain them. Well, that means this video is for you. So hang around. When you're done watching the video, if you like the video, please subscribe uh, or forward it to a friend or someone that you know that is farming sweet corn. All right. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? All right, this is Ayakunle from Blooming Gardens. Good to see you guys. All right, um, I was just taking a stroll in my garden at home this evening, and I just uh, wanted to just showcase a little bit of what we're doing here and also talk about some other thing. All right, so um, in my garden here, we I have just a, a little bit, a few crops, uh, some bell peppers and a few tomatoes. Remember that tomato I talked about in my last video, the Akarakshak variety? Okay, I, I brought about um, six or seven plants home, and this is the only one surviving out of all of them now. Well, none of them really died like this one, but it was just struggling. So what did I do? I just uprooted it. I have another one here struggling. So really, it's struggling on the farm. It's struggling here at home. Um, I think it's just not good. But this one, it's struggling, but it's still a little bit okay, but it's not I, I wouldn't do it again let me just put it away anyway uh i also have some bell peppers here you can see they're already beginning to fruit and i'm happy with those ones all right so and my kids planted some watermelon that's also doing well uh another uh, watermelon somewhere there i have an orange somewhere at the back there uh, i have some lemongrass there then my kids put in tomatoes, uh, potatoes on the floor there. I don't know because the ground is a little bit hard. I don't know how big that's going to be. But hey, it's their projects. They're having fun doing it. And um, it's not disturbing me or anybody. So hey, that's where we're at. But hey, why am I doing this video today? All right. Um, um, you can see the pictures I put on the, on the screen right now. Um, a lot of times people talk, call me and say, hey, they grew sweet corn and the, the leaves are turning brown the leaves are showing all these kind of lesions they don't understand what's happening um so i said let me talk about it um what you have if you are experiencing this you may not be experiencing it a lot right now but the rains are about to start along with those rains especially the first rains the first rains will bring a lot of humidity challenge um humidity is caused when there's a lot of moisture in the ground so what happens with the first rains is that it falls maybe once a week, usually very heavy downpour, and it, it's immediately followed with a lot of sunshine. So that makes the sun to try and evaporate this water in the ground and causes a lot of humidity. Now that humidity is a perfect environment for fungal diseases to thrive. Uh, what you have is what is called NCLB. It's called Northern... Northern corn leaf blight, all right, NCLB, Northern corn leaf blight, and it is spread because of humidity. I'm trying to do this video because humidity is coming very soon, as, and it's going to, if you have sweet corn out there, it's going to affect you. So what can you do? Um, of course, you have to use a grade A fungicide in the, in the class of the chlorotalonils or the azoxystrobins to be able to deal with it. If you know anything about those fungicides, they are not cheap. All right. So the other alternative is to look for a variety that um, that is uh, resistant to that uh, uh, um, that blight. Coincidentally, uh, coincidentally, we have so coincidentally um, we we have a variety that we have been selling Pacific seeds. Uh, the red package with ibrix 59 that one has actually been very tolerant to that one has been very tolerant to that blight disease uh, now we even stepped up our game now we have ibrix 53 ibrix 53 this is not tolerant this is actually resistant to that disease i'm pushing it out there because i know that a lot of people I've actually complained about that, that disease affects their yield, that it drops significantly their, their expectations and on and on. So 
I think it's a good thing to actually check out. Um, the spores are of those uh, of that fungal disease is heavily spread when it's, it's wind spread. So there's really not much you can do if um, your neighborhood has it. It's going to come to you. Your best option, best option. Uh, I, I, there's a there's a report. There's a link I'm going to put out in the in the, in the comment section of this video, uh, where I mean, there's, it's a report from uh, I think Cornell University. They did a huge research on this. Uh, you may want to read up on that link. Um, so it tells you how it is spread, why you should just avoid, instead of trying to treat the disease, just go for seeds that are disease resistant. And we're here, we're ready, we're waiting for you. Ibrix 53 from Advanta Pacific Seeds. Alright, so reach out if you're interested, we'll be able to supply your send to you wherever it is you are. Hi, this is Ayo Kunle. I'm strictly advertising in this video, these seeds, yes, I'm advertising. You know, people call me and send messages. Oh, that thing you talked about, do you sell it? Or do you know where I can get it? And I'm like, where I can get it? Yes, I sell it. So I'm going to be a little bit more direct in some of my videos going forward. If I have a good product that you have that you need, yeah, I'll be a little bit more direct and tell you about it. Hey, so if you're interested in getting, reach out, send me a WhatsApp, give me a call, put a comment, uh, put a message in the comment section of this video and reach out and I'll surely get back to you. My name is Ayo Kunle. If you like this video, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. If you don't like it, put a comment and send me a message. Tell me why you don't like it or what you think I should be doing better. And um, if you like it again, share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.